Hello, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room tonight. It is Monday, January the 9th, and we are stamping together tonight. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from the west coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And we are going to be stamping with the adorable owls tonight. I'm just going to go over to Facebook and get this shared over to my VIP group. There we go. Aha. All righty. Well, there's Marsha and Norma. Hello, everyone. How are we tonight? Woohoo. For some of us, it's later than for others. Hey, Janet. Yes. So, another weekend come and gone. Here we are, second week of January already. Who'd have thunk it? Man, I think 2023 is going to go just as fast as 2022 did. I love the owls too, Marsha. Hey, Valerie. Um, Hubby and I were talking after dinner tonight because we have to start planning our trip to for the Norway cruise in May, the end of May. And the coronation, King Charles's coronation, is a week before we go to England. Eek. Oh, Marsha, it's 10 o'clock at night. Woohoo. So we're hoping that everybody's going to get the heck out of England before we arrive. Because it's going to be ugly if all those people are still there. We are hoping to go to... Hi, Sharon. We're hoping to go to England and have about five days before the cruise to do some tootling around. He wants to go and see where his granny was buried down in Southern. So London is here. Southampton is here, which is where the ship is going to leave from. And his granny is buried over here a little way. So kind of in a triangle. So we're going to head over and hop a train or two hey carmen and we'll go and see where his granny was born and have some fish and chips and stay at some quaint little pubs and time to start doing the planning a hey, connie and terry there's oh everybody's in the pool okay you've seen enough of me let's flip this over so it's time to register for my seaside bay class coming on the 22nd of february registration is open now and you can see the link to register it up in the comments, the first comment, I think. Or maybe it didn't post here. Let me just post it again. There we go. So there's the link. You will peas with that? No, I will not have mushy peas with that, Janet. There is no way I, well, maybe I'll try them. Because <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to go all that way and not try mushy peas. There's got to be something that is good about them. Hey, Pat. Yeah, uh, I hate planning a trip. The gross? Okay, I'll take your word for it. I won't try them yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how adventurous I am. All right, Seaside Bay class, February the 22nd, in person at 1, virtual at 6.30. You can get the kits and the pearls for 25, a bundle plus the kits plus the pearls for 110 and qualify for a free celebration item. Buy the suite, get the kits for free and a level two, two level one or a level two celebration item. Or if you live outside of Canada, you can get the tutorial only option. So you're going to do these three cards. And if you're part of my monthly tutorial subscription, you get card number four. Hey, Kathy. And Dimity and Shannon. Shanna and Norma. <laughs> Norma agrees nothing good about mushy peas. We can get mushy pea here at Savon. I can no, no thanks. No thanks. Nope. Valerie, I'll pass on the mushy peas. <laughs> no way. Oh, God. Okay. Card tonight You does not use the um, emboss, Stampin' emboss and die cutting machine at all. Oh, yes, it does. But you know what? I didn't get it out. So you'll have to 
I forgot that you got to cut these. Hello. Hey, Wendy. Okay, so I used the Dandy Designs designer paper, which is free. I used the Owl stamp set, which is free. So even the can is ugly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then I made a custom envelope with the same designer paper I used on the side of the card. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a different pattern. Thanks, Janet. I'm going to use a different pattern for the envelope. Consequently, I didn't know what color we wanted to do the sentiment. So I have Tahitian Tide and Mint Macaron. And we'll decide when the, we get the card made. I've already stamped and fussy cut the owl because I have to color them and I didn't want you to have to live through fussy cutting and coloring all in the same time. Okay. Uh, five and a quarter by four for the inside. Then three and seven eighths by four and a half for the front and two strips of designer paper that are one half by three, one half by three three and three quarters. So it's just short, a little bit shorter than the white. And it's going to go in behind there like that. And then this stamp set here. So I'm using adorable owls. Thanks, Marcia. Uh, adorable owls. This part is decorative borders. Now you've heard me talk about this one before. I fell in love with it when I saw it because it's perfect for the inside of cards. You can do a masculine card. You can do a masculine card. You can do feminine cards. You can do corners. We could make, maybe we'll, I used, I used the corner one on the inside. We'll see how this one lines up. Maybe we'll just use that one and make our own. This is good for masculine. And then there's flowers. Yeah. It's just an all around exciting stamp set. Hey, Holly. All right. So these are the alphabet a la mode dies that we're going to use for the happy birthday. I'm excited because they're really narrow, but they're big. So you can use lots of them. So I couldn't get happy birthday on this card. So I did the H and a dash and the B and a heart and a day. That means happy birthday, right? Right? I think so. Okay. All right, let's do some coloring. We'll, we'll, oh, let's stamp this. Let's get this out of the way. Let's stamp this spray of flowers. I'll show you what I did on the inside. So there's the inside. There's that corner flower there. And then I put this owl down at the bottom. I like that stamp set too, Marsha. Hey, Lena. Um, it was one of the first ones that I put on my list when I opened my catalog and sent found it. Yes, Carmen, it means happy birthday. It does. Okay. Uh, Memento ink. I really need to re-ink my Memento ink pad. Holy macaroni. And there I got ink all over it. Okay, so this we're going to put somewhere about there. And then we're going to color that with blends as well. Now, do you want me to use that corner spray on the inside like I have? Or do you want me to get out this one and see between those two, see if we can make a funky border? Maybe let's do that. I'll have to go and get a a couple of small blocks. Hang on. So I feel like I've been talking all day. So my voice is probably a little bit rough because I made six videos today. Oops. Need a bigger block. Six videos and now I'm live. So... We'll see. Okay, where's my inside piece? Let's see what kind of a funky border we can come up with. I have to get a piece of stamping paper out. I think we could come up with something, right? 
Now the card is oriented that way, so I'm going to stamp along this corner. So let's start in the middle-ish with this. If we don't like it, we don't have to use it. Put that in the middle-ish. Like that. <laughs> well, I had a nap, Kathy, so that helped immensely. Yes, fell asleep after dinner. I confess I did. We'll put a couple of these flowers on there. And then we'll do this. So what are you thinking? Are you thinking you like this? Are you thinking this is something that's cute? I love this stamp set. I think I said that already. Oh, I didn't get that in the middle. Oh, well. What do you think? Yes? No? Where's the lid? Last thing I need to do is get ink everywhere. Yes. Ooh. People like it. Don't let me forget. I've got I've got draws to do tonight. I'm gonna to draw for seven card kits from the catalog launch. I got a or draw for the placed in orders draw. And then there's share it Saturday from the 31st of December. So don't let me forget to do those before we hang up. All right, let's bring this little doodad back in here and we're gonna do some coloring. Crumb cake for the face and the tummy. Can't hear me? Oh, Lena can't hear me. Can, can everybody else hear me? Is okay, good. Oh, sorry, Lena. I don't I don't know what to tell you. As long as somebody can hear me. You might need to go out and come back in again. Of course, if you can't hear me, you won't know I said that. All right, we'll get some rum cake base on here. This little uh, bow tie is so cute. Maybe I need to stamp that on an extra piece of paper and cut it out and pop it up. What do you think? Should we pop up his bow tie? So hubby's birthday was Sunday. And we play, We had sushi for dinner. It was really good. We have a really good sushi place here in town. And then bottom, turn the volume on loud and clear. Okay. Everybody wants me to pop up the bow tie. So we ate um, sushi and then we played cards against humanity has anybody ever played that game yes kathy he loved his card and he laughed when i said be careful you can only have it until sunday and then i need it back briefly <laughs> he knows when he gets a card with post-it note in it that it's it's in process of either a class or something. So he's he gets it briefly. It's like I lend him a birthday card. But you know, after this long, he's used to it. Okay, I'm just going to, I just put a little bit of dark crumb cake in there. And I'm going back over everything again, to blend that all in. He loved it. I told him that I I put a piece on and then I go out to the garage and check and make sure it looked like his motorcycle. And then I'd go back in and do another piece or two and make sure it looked like his motorcycle. There we are. Um, it's, look it up, Marsha. It's really funny. And we have, oops, I did that already. We have the, not only do we have 
Cards Against Humanity, but we have Kids Against Maturity, which I think is even funnier than the Cards Against Humanity. So there's a question that the cards will ask a question. And it'll be like, see what, what can I give as a sample of a question? Homer, my dinner was like blank. Um, and then you have cards that fill in that blank. Hang on, I have to answer Lena. She's having issues. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Lena, go out, go back in. Okay, so it answers the question. So you do like, my dinner is like blank and then you'll have things like a soaker, a super soaker filled with diarrhea. <laughs> I know it sounds, it sounds really rude, but oh my God, it's so funny. So this is um, light soft suede that I'm adding here. And I'm just, I'm not doing the ears and I'm not doing the eyes. And of course, not all the answers are related to poo, but when you play the, the kids, the children against maturity one, a lot of them are. And holy man, there's only one prerequisite with that class. You have to go to the bathroom before you start it because otherwise you'll pee your pants because you laugh so much. My grandkids love playing it and we all get in there. So it, the game belongs to the local grandkids. So we're going to have to get some to put in our trailer. So we have it to play with the Northern ones when we go up there too. Oh shoot. You know what I did? I painted his foot brown. Oh, well, this guy's going to have brown feet. Oops. Okay. There we go. And dark daffodil delight on the beak and the feet. But I screwed the feet up, so that's not happening. And then soft sea foam on the eyes. I don't know whether they have green eyes or not, but it looks good. Okay, so he's done. Now I could add some dark soft suede, but I won't. Now let me see if I've got a scrap of paper in here that I can stamp the owl again and I lost my ink pad. It is fun. It is a hoot. We really enjoy it. Okay, now we're just gonna do that so I can cut out the the bow tie. Get the Tahitian tide. Color that bow tie in. Okay, so now we need to figure out what color to do the the sentiment in. It's going to add a bit of dark right there, like that. Blend that all in. There's so many different ways to color the owl. <laughs> Yay, we got Lena. Thanks, Carmen, and everybody for your help getting Lena's sound on. That is appreciated. We're just like one big family here, right? All right. Just going to quickly fussy cut and I'm not cutting white around it I'm doing right up close and you know do you know the trick for when you are cutting right on the line so you don't have to worry about whether you have white left over oops that went flying whether you have white left over or not I will show you 
I will show you a little trick. You need a basic black marker. This is tricky because it's really tiny and hard to hold on to. There we go. Okay. Now, black marker. And then you take the you take the brush end and we go around like this. Right around the whole outside. And that will darken up your edges but it also eliminates any white pieces that you may have left because you didn't get close enough there we go okay owl check bow tie check oh we got to color this all right daffodil delight oops wrong end <laughs> There's no dies for this stamp set, Valerie. The uh, the owl is just a stamp set. There's no dies for it. So nope. I had to fussy cut the owl out too. So that's why I did it before I started. So today I was doing videos, and I was using the beautifully happy stamp set. Or the free class that's coming in in March, and I had to fussy cut those two because there's no dies for those ones. So this free, I'm calling it a free-ish class, and it's in March, the end of March, the last Sunday in March, in person at one, virtual at six thirty. To get the class for free, just. Um, order during celebration, place an order big enough to order the stamp set. It's a level two celebration, so you need um, $120 order. And you'll get the kits for free, and then you can join us and we'll stamp together. Or, if that doesn't happen, this is where the ish part comes in then you can um, pay $20 for the card kits and I'll throw in the stamp set for free. But that's limited to the number of stamp sets I can collect during celebration. And celebration is only two months this year instead of three. So I'm not going to have as long to collect it. There, there is going to be video tutorials. So if you can't make the class, you can do the you can do the cards just with the tutorials. Um, I don't know, Valerie. I did not check that. Um, I didn't. So I'm sorry, I can't answer that one. That's dark. I don't want dark. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, the free-ish class. All right, so if you're part of my Craft Room Stampers team, my wonderful Craft Room Stampers team, you are going to get the PDF and invitation to stamp with us for free. And if you are part of my monthly tutorial subscription, I'm going to give you that as a bonus PDF in March. So just like I did in December, November and December, where I, I did a, a free PDF. What stamps that was? I don't even remember. Oh, the cottage wreath PDF. All my um, tutorial subscribers got a bonus that month. So there's a few ways you can get the class. One is free. One you have to be a member of my team to get it for free. Um, one, you have to be part of the monthly tutorial subscription to get it for free. Oh, look, I added that down in there and forgot I did it, so I got to do it. Um, yeah, and that's coming in March. And lots of time to earn it. 
because we got till the 28th of February for it to wait, I need my paper. We've got till the 28th of February to, to earn it. Right. Let's color that flower in. Sorry, I'm ignoring the, the uh, conversation. Kathy, my monthly tutorial subscription can be subscribed to any time. It's $15 a month and you get, where did I put that other thing? So this, for instance, this is the class in March that I'm in February that I'm doing the Seaside Bay class. You get these three cards, the PDF and video tutorials for these three cards, just like if you took the class, but you also get a bonus fourth card every month. So there's four cards, video tutorials. Um, you get all the measurements and it goes out at the beginning of, well, usually around the end of the first week of each month. So you can prep and then you you can prep your card kits and then you can join us. I'm looking for my little strips. You can join us at the class in person if you live locally or virtually and stamp with us. Okay, so I'm just putting this on here. So how you do it is um, send me an email. Kathy and I will send you the link or you can go to my blog at glendamollett.blogspot.com and there's a page here hang on let me show you let me get my blog up and I'll show you how you do it okay there we go so there's there's my blog glendamollett.blogspot.com that's how you sign up for my weekly newsletter too, by the way, just fill in that thing when it pops up. But right here, right there, it says monthly tutorial subscription information. And if you go there, you can click right there to subscribe. This thing's annoying. Or you can go down here and click there to subscribe and it explains everything for you. Does that help? Uh, no, Marsha, you don't get the card kits. You get the the PDF and the video tutorial. And because I can't, I can't send stuff across borders. They won't let me stamping up frowns on that. So um, you get the you get the PDF. And then you can prep your kits and then you can stamp with us at the class on Zoom. Or I lost my card base. Or you can do them at home yourself using the video tutorials. Oh, thanks, Kathy. That would be lovely. Ah, my finger stuck. Okay, there we go. So I just stuck those little strips there. Now, let's. what color do you think the word should be? Mint macaron or Tahitian Tide? Which one? Hi, Carol. I think the owls are cute too. I agree with you. Trying to get my markers out of the way. Okay. Come on, which one, which color should I do the words out of? And while you decide that, I'm just going to get my machine out here because I didn't do it. Tahitian Tide, mint, 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 mint. Oh, mint is ahead of the game here. M many more mints than Tahitian Tides. Okay, mint it is. Now, 
I need to get. I like these dies also because there's multiples of some things. H, B, D. So there's multiples of the um, A's, the E's, the I's, the L's, N, R. And then there's a couple of T's. There's a couple of S's. The other one is on here. And then there's these funky things. If you live somewhere not in North America, <laughs> you'll know what those are. I have no idea what they are. There's an exclamation mark. There's the numbers as well. And then I'm going to get the, the dash and the heart. Okay. Oh, yes. I can't show you because now I've got the things on, but there is adhesive backing on the behind this. You'll see once I get it die cut. Janet, thank you for reminding me to... You're definitely overruled. <laughs> and <laughs> Valerie, yes, you are on the winning team. I forgot the why. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> I was just thinking, that doesn't look quite right. Everybody's yelling at me. Thanks for reminding me, because you know me and my brain cells, they don't work all the time. I didn't put any bling on this card. That's not good. Okay, there we are. Except the heart stuck to the cutting plates. It's so tiny. Don't lose it. All right, these out of the way. Bring the card back in. I'm going to put this around here so I know where to put my my letters. See, there's the adhesive backing on it. Yeah, you don't want to use these letters without the adhesive backing. You will regret it. I did it the first time because I was so excited to use them, and I ended up throwing it away because I wasn't going to. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Wasn't going to mess around with the using little itty bitty all that tombo. Yes, there there is still time, Kathy. We will put bling on. I'm just putting these dies over here so I don't lose them. Once I get the Oh, Holly, you're so funny. Okay. I know I'm going to lose these ones at some point. Because they are just so tiny. There. So let's start with the Y. Because we know how far over that needs to go. We'll put the Y on. Let's see. That's going to go there. So right about there. Now, the thing with these um, adhesive sheets, too, is that you can move them. So if you get it down and you don't like the positioning, then just lift it back up again. There's the A, A, the D. So it poured rain here all day today. How was you guys' weather? I know you guys in Port, you had rain because you live where I live. And Valerie probably had rain because you don't live too far away and it's probably doing the same thing there that it's doing everywhere else. We must have had inches of rain today. It was unbelievable. But it's okay because I was inside all day in my craft room. So I was in my happy place. Okay, now the heart. Rain all day. Rain and wind. Yep. Sucks, doesn't it? But it's got to hurry up and get better soon because we only have 49 days till we go to Tofino. Yay, Tofino. Oh, Marsha. I wish I lived where you live. Marsha's in Texas and she had no rain. And tomorrow's supposed to be in the 80s. Hmm. Won't be in the 80s here. Okay, and then the dash. Then the dash. Then the H. Am I got enough room or do I got to move things over? 
Okay. I'm going to move the B over a bit. Come on. Move. We have some of the wildest conversations at our dinner table. We have our local grandchildren are, well, James, um, James is autistic and has other things, but he's also very literal. So we have to be careful what we tell him to do when we ask him to do something. But sometimes the things he comes out with when we, when we're talking, it's the funniest thing. It's like, Cards of Humanity all over again. That's crooked. Oh my good lord, love a duck. Oh, you don't like that heat? An earthquake. Oh, dimity, that sucks. That's, what did you say? 7.9, that's quite high. Apparently we've been having earthquakes on and off for a while too. Okay, I'm going to use my ruler here because I didn't get this lined up straight enough. No, I'm not going to use the ruler. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. I'm going to do the D uh, or the Y there. I'll do the D down here. I'll put the B up there. This is how you get away if you can't line things up. You just stick them purposefully crooked. There, what do you think? Yes, no? Okay, let's get some dimensionals behind this dude. And we'll get him on. Dimity is in um, Australia. Oh, yeah, your pool would be rocking and rolling, wouldn't it? What part of Australia are you in, Dimity? I have a pen pal in Western Australia, in Albany, that I've been pen pals with since 1970. It's been a while. We were in high school when we first started um, writing to each other. So we went through high school, we went through college together, we got married together. Her birthday is very close. Mine's on the 4th of May and hers is on the, hers is on the 1st of May. And she had three kids and I had two kids and we lost touch there for a while. But through Facebook, we got back together again. Northern Territory. Ah, oh, okay. So you're up at the top. All right. Now, which way does this bow tie go on here? There we go. This way. Just put that right over top of there like that. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay. Get the block and well. I like to rub my stuff that I use the... Um, adhesive sheets on. If you rub it with a block like this, it helps it stick without coming up. There we go. Oh, what do you think? Oh, it's cute. Okay, let's let's winky. And then, what um, what bling shall I put on there? I'm gonna winky his eyes. I'm gonna winky the flowers. We got anything in the new bling that would look cool on here? What do we got? Opaque and adhesive back gems. Purples, whites, uh, milky dots, mm, iridescent pastel gems. Okay, what shall we use? Mm, this one's got some yellowy. Oh, I thought they were yellow, but they're not. They're iridescent. 
I don't know. There's no. It's too purpley. Okay, and we'll get out these ones. These are opaque adhesive back gems. No, they don't go with them at all, unless we do the white ones. So let's have a look at the milky ones like Carmen suggested. Hmm, the yellow ones? Match his eyes. I wish I could, but I don't have any of that color. I don't have any of that, the color of soft sea foam. Um, I'm just looking. Uh, no. Let's use these yellow ones. Let's use the yellow ones. We will put some yellow ones. There, how's that? Yes, no. Soft sea foam won't show Janet because the color is too light. It won't, you won't be able to tell there's even any color on it. Okay, inside, where's my inside? Let's get some color on those. Those there fluors. Use the dark daffodil delight for this. What a cute card. Okay, hurry up because I've got to get those. Don't let me forget to do those draws. Holy macaroni. I have to draw for seven card kits. So this is the card kit from the um, launch party because I had some, I made extras and then I had some people couldn't come because of illness and, and other, other things. So um, I have leftover kits for the make and take from the launch party. So I'm gonna draw names. If you were at the launch party, you had the chance to get in on the draw. There we go. Now, one of the custom envelopes that I make all the time. You, you know what it is. It's six by 12, scored at three quarters of an inch uh, up each side, and then scored at four and a quarter and 10. And then you just cut off the top and the bottom. And I'm cutting on the inside of those score lines. And up this one. There we go. So get rid of. Now you can keep these if you want. It's free paper. I'm choosing to throw it away. Oh, thanks, Connie. Oh, Marsha, Lena, Kathy, Holly. Thanks. I love these owls. I was going to do this as my freest class, and then I thought, well, no, because I'm not going to collect the stamp set that is going to be the most popular one in the whole celebration catalog. Let me collect the ones that people are not going to necessarily get the chance to collect. There we go. So there's the envelope. There we go. That's so cute. My gosh. Okay. I just have to move things out of the way while I'm getting set up here. Have another look at my seaside bay class. Because I've got to clear my, my deck so I can reach my computer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Come here, computer. I'm sorry. You're going to see me up, up close and personal now. Move the cards. Move the cards. 
and do this. Oh, that's way too close, but I have to be able to reach my computer. Okay, I have to unplug my phone, get my list out. Oh, and I've got a, I got some cards to show you too, if if we have time. Yes, owls. Absolutely, absolutely the funnest thing. Okay, here we go. This is the card kit draw. Mm, there we go. So I'm just going to remove the name, remove the line, shuffle once, shuffle twice. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Don't go away. Let's make that bigger. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. So I shuffle twice. And the first card kit is going to go to, where's my pencil so I can write this all down. First card kit is going to go to Betty. Number one. Yay, Betty. Remove Betty. Next card kit is going to. La, 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 la. Lori. Number two. Remove. Next one is going to Carmen. Yay, Carmen. And the next one, if you guys are commenting, I can't see your comments, so you'll have to pardon me if I don't respond. Sharon, that's number four. Number five, going to Kathy. Now, Kathy, are you in Canada? I can't remember where you are. So if you can comment and I'll come back over and have a look. Karen. And the last one is going to go to... We got Valerie, the Valerie Wars here. Val W. Okay, so that's the seven kits. Now, just let me pop over here. Oh, yes, she is. She's in Alberta. Okay, so those seven people are going to get the card kits. And Valerie Barker, I have a complete card for her. Completed card. There we go. So everybody wins. All right, this is Share It Saturday from December the 31st. Not very many people participated in this one. It must be because it was Christmas. So shuffled once, shuffled twice, and I'm going to be sending a card and or gifty to Connie. Connie is the winner. Congratulations. Way to go. Okay. Now, this one is for the placed an order draw for the catalog launch party. And you had until six o'clock tonight to get your order in, either to me or online. Okay, shuffle once, shuffle twice. And the $15 product credit towards your next order is going to go to Bev. Congratulations, Bev Ann. Yay. Oh, that was fun. I love giving stuff away. Yahoo. Okay, just let me do this and we'll hang this back up. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks so much for playing along with me. Okay, trying to get my thing back up here because I'm going to, we got time, so I am going to quickly yes congratulations to connie and all of our card bait card kit winners connie and bev okay so this is a swap card i received from shauna mickaluck in moose jaw saskatchewan shauna is one of my silver sisters and we did a new catalog product swap and this is that flora one now what's it called I was fighting it and I broke down and I've ordered it because the flowers look so much fun. Fancy flora. So it's the two tone, the two tone flora bundle right there. And then she used some of the fancy flora designer paper on the side. Now this paper is, is really funky. Look at it. 
it's a painting done with acrylic paints and you know how they use the paint knife things and they do the big gobs of paint. And so an artist created that and then they take a photograph of it and turn it into designer paper. So if you look on the back of the catalog, and I know you all have catalogs, right? So if you look on the back of the catalog, there's the paper. Isn't that cool? So that's one. And then this one is from Elizabeth Green, another one of my uh, silver sisters, and it uses the Queen Bee bundle. I don't have this bundle. Okay, these are, this is the um, framed florets dies. This is the, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, the name of that designer paper, I can see it. It's that gorgeous stamp set, you know, that's so beautiful, that's in the annual catalog. Come on, somebody help me. Abigail Rose. This is the Abigail Rose designer paper. So in behind here is the Abigail Rose designer paper and then she's stamped on top of it. So there's like a crown and the bee is there and some flowers. So she kind of distressed it and ripped it down the side. Isn't that cool? And then, yes, Abigail Rose, Kathy, that's right. And then this one is also from Elizabeth and this was a different swap that I was in and she used the Sentimental Park Bundle. Now, look really closely at these dies. In the catalog, this does not show well. Let me find this. Sentimental Park. So it's part of the Regency Park suite. And then right up here in the corner, nope, over here, there's the dies. That's the Sentimental Park bundle. These are really funky dies. Look at this. Look at that. So that's what she's used. But nowhere in here, like there's one sample right there of it, but they don't really show that those dyes. And Louise told me that I needed to get them because I would love them. So I have, they're arriving tomorrow or Wednesday, one or the other, but look at it. It's cuts this out, but it must also cut that so that you can, cause that, white is slipped underneath the balmy blue look at that and that that's part of the paper it is amazing so now i got this today in the mail so now i'm really happy that i ordered those sentimental park dies i didn't get the stamp set i do confess i did not get the stamp set i got the dies only so this is the stamp set I may end up getting the stamp set after all, but I wanted those dies, those dies right there. Yep. So we're going to do some funky things with those in some upcoming, I don't know, Facebook Live or something, I guess. Because I have almost all of my classes set now up to the end of April when this catalog retires. I'm doing this month, I. I did the collaboration with Playing in the Rain with Shanna. Next month is the Seaside Bay one. And then what's March? March. Oh, On the Ocean. That's the one that has the big pirate ship in it. So fun. And then April is going to be the motorcycle for the masculine because Father's Day is not too far beyond that. And Leanne and I are discussing doing another collaboration. We just haven't come up with anything. So maybe we need to use those dies. That would be fun. All right, ladies. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. Um, if you want to, oops, get, let me see if I can, there it is. I'll get the link to register for the monthly tutorial subscription. And I'll put it in the comments right there. 
So there's the link to register for the monthly tutorial subscription if you are interested in it. Got to hurry up though because the vid the 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 PDF and video tutorials have already gone out for January. But if you register the next week or so, I you can register for the playing in the rain one, and you're going to get five in January because there's three cards and a, a 3D and then a bonus card. So you get, in January, you get my half of the Playing in the Rain bundle or retreat as your um, monthly tutorial subscription cards. Four cards and a 3D thing that I'll let you in on a, on a little thing, a little secret. It's a little box to hold all the cards that you make. Make perfect birthday card, birthday gift for somebody. You're welcome, Pat. You're welcome, Janet, Carmen, Norma. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you Thursday night on Thursday Thoughts in my VIP group, not, not, he, not on my page, only in my VIP group. It's going to be fun. Hope you can make it. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.